Charlie Horse by Paul Rituity. Long before anyone ever heard of an automobile, there lived a horse named Charlie. He was just a country horse. No one had ever written down when Charlie was born, so no one knew how old Charlie was. Charlie was big and strong and he looked very smart. He had spots because he was sway-backed. Back in the days when Charlie lived, people rode on boats with big paddle wheels on their sides. They rode on swaying trains and in wagons or carriages pulled by horses. When it snowed, people rode in sleighs with seats on them. Horses, like Charlie, pulled wagons, sleighs, carriages, and buggies. One day in the town near where Charlie lived, a man and his wife got off at the stagecoach stop. They looked very tired. Their names were James and Ellen White. The Whites had friends to meet them. Their friends took them home. They fed the Whites and gave them a room with a big soft bed. James and Ellen White had come to Vermont on God's business. James was a preacher. Angels talked to Ellen and gave her messages from God. The Whites had come to Vermont to talk to the Adventists. The Adventists wanted to hear what God had to say through Ellen's friends, the angels. The Whites were not rich. They did not have money to buy a horse and carriage of their own. It wasn't much fun to travel on stagecoach a train, a boat, or a wagon. Traveling was very hard. The people in Vermont were very kind to Mr. and Mrs. White. They listened to what the Whites had to tell them. All the time they, had, they listened, they kept thinking, hmm, what can we do to help the Whites? Then someone had an idea and liked, liked it. They wanted to keep the idea secret. It was to be a surprise. The night before the watch this, the angel said. As she watched, Ellen saw a picture of two country roads. The roads crossed each other. Then she saw some men at the crossroads. Around the men were wagons, a shiny carriage, and several horses. The angel told Ellen that her Adventist friends were going to surprise her and James with a gift. The gift was to be a new covered carriage and a horse. The people will ask you to choose a horse, said the angel. There will be three to choose from. Ellen saw a beautiful golden brown horse prance in front of her. That is, the one, that is one of the horses, the angel told her, but don't take that one. Then another horse trotted past. It was a big, strong, gray horse. Don't choose that one either, the angel said. The third horse she saw was a large, spotted, chestnut-colored one. It was sway-backed. It was Charlie. That is the horse for you, the angel said. Choose that one. In the morning, the whites got ready to leave for home. Their friends came by and took them for a ride into the country. They stopped where two roads crossed. Ellen said, saw everything happen just as she had seen it the night before. When their friends showed the whites the three horses, Mrs. White said, we will choose this one. She pointed to Charlie. Charlie became the White's own horse. He was gentle, strong, and good. He always obeyed their commands. The angel knew Charlie was a good horse. 
The Whites thanked God many times for their horse, Charlie. He was a real blessing to them. Charlie Horse. God wants to use us in very special ways. You may think that there's something different about you and you may not be worth very much. But I want to let you know that if God can use a chestnut spotted horse with a sway back, he can use you. Always be available for God to use you. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord.